Carla is with us. Hey, in in Louisiana. Hey, Carla, how are you? Hey, I'm doing great. Thanks for answering my call. Sure. How can I help? Uh, my husband is getting ready to start his senior year of mechanical engineering. He has an internship. He's doing great, and he works part-time. My question is, we have about a year left. I saw your post about... Sally May having record profits, and it made me really angry. Good. So my, yes. So my question is, do we consolidate while he is in school? Because I, from what I heard, you can only consolidate alone one. Yes. And that is that repayment and in interest rate. Is it better to do it while he's on part time? I'm a stay at home mom with the baby. And he's working two jobs, interning, full-time student. Do I consolidate now with the $20,000 income that we have, or do I wait until I graduate? But um, is, what, he, is, he, is he through what, taking out loans? He, um, we will find out. On the first, he is applying for merit-based scholarships because this is his second bachelor's. Mm -hmm. He couldn't get any. But we're getting hit. $200 a month in interest from Sally Mae. So do we consolidate now based off this income, or do we wait until after he graduates and starts making engineer money? So what do you got, like thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 in debt, and it's already accruing interest? 33000 Yeah, okay. All right. Uh, I would not consolidate if you're going to add more debt. Because it's as only you one said, more year, though. As, I know, but as you said, you get you get one shot at this, and so uh, okay. it's not going to matter much. When you get a lower interest rate, it's not it's not going to change anything that much. Two hundred dollars a month is twenty four hundred dollars a year. Twenty four hundred dollars a year is not your problem. Thirty three thousand is your problem. Even if you cut your interest rate in half, it's only a thousand twelve a twelve hundred dollar difference, and you're not going to cut it in half. So. Yeah, because we our interest rate right now is ten and a half percent, and his credit score is seven ninety. I don't understand why it's that. And then the consolidation loan, they said they could offer us four to six, no more than six. Okay. And well, if you if question, you did drop it in half, it saves you a thousand dollars. Okay. And my second question is, someone told me that you want to make sure that. It says student loan because there's certain protections if the title is student loan instead right. of like a signature loan. Right. It's just, this is, it needs to be a Sally Mae or a Navient loan. It doesn't need to be anything else because the protections are if you die, the loan is forgiven, or if you become permanently disabled, the loan is forgiven. Are there student loan consolidate? Are there consolidation yes. loans with the protection? Okay. Yes. Yes, tons of them. Yeah, shouldn't be any trouble at all to do that. But again, it's not your biggest issue. It's a thousand dollars out of a thirty-three thousand dollar problem. So it's okay to do it. It doesn't hurt anything. But the bigger issue: is stop borrowing more. That's a much bigger thing to concentrate on than whether or not to refinance.